Derek, obviously a joint practice today with the Jets. What does a day like today do for the team? Uh, it kind of shows us where we are. Um, going against competition other than ourselves, it definitely shows us, you know, what we need to work on, the things that need to be complete, but also, you know, getting a different scheme, um, especially for us on defense. Getting a different scheme than what we've been playing against in our offense all camp. So, I mean, it was a great outing today, I believe. We saw things get a little testy, a few fights and stuff like that. Just what's your take on the intensity of practice? Always high intensity. You get a, bit, a bunch of grown men in a sports space, and you know one doesn't like what the other one does, and you know there's a bunch of alpha males on the field. So I mean, things like that are going to happen. This off season, the team made a big investment in you, looking at you as a key piece of the future of this organization. What did it mean to get that deal done and, and know this is home for a while? Uh, you know, definitely appreciative to the Teppers, Dan and Brent, and you know, getting that done. Um, you know, and. Just, you know, they have a lot of faith in me. So, I mean, they're letting me roll, and, you know, I don't plan on stopping now. So, you know, it's just up from here, to be honest. A big season for you last year. Get the deal done in the off season. Where do you feel like you are as far as a leadership role with this team? Uh, kind of in the same place I've, I've been over the last few years, to be honest. Um, you know, I've always had an opportunity to have my voice heard and, you know, be able to, you know, speak in, in front of the team. So, I mean, I kind of play that role. You know, I always say, like, you know, our leader on defense is Shaq. I mean, he's been here the longest, he's got the tenure in, so, you know, he's our guy. Yeah. Uh, a lot of new, a lot of new faces, both with the coaching staff and players, but a consistent piece for the defense and Coachy being your defensive coordinator mm -hmm. again. What is year two like in his scheme? Uh, it's consistency. Um, you know, I, I've looked for that for a long time, and, you know, here, and, you know, we finally had a coach staff. You know, I, was tell, I tell people all the time, like, watch, this is the first D line coach I've had two years back to back since I've been in the league. So, you know, just, you know, knowing what to expect or what they expect of me and being able to go out there and, you know, play and do my job. But then, you know, allows me to be able to have, you know, the freedom to do what I got to do. What's it also been like going up against someone like Robert Hunt, you know, a new O-line, a, a, mm -hmm. a group that this team and this organization has invested in. So how do you feel like you guys are making each other better? I mean, it's a big fella. So, I mean, <laughs> we, we do a lot of banging every single day. So it's from the time the ball turns over, you know, but, you know, we always, you know, put our best foot forward. So going against Robert's always been nothing but a great thing. And, you know, it's been one of those things that, you know, he's made me better, I made him better, and we challenge each other every day. It's not like the, oh, okay, let's take care. No, it's, it's, we going every day. A few weeks left before we get into the regular season. What are some keys for this team as far as being prepared for week one in the Saints? I think, you know, I think we found our stride and, you know, found our identity. So, I mean, I think, you know, just building upon that and, you know, building upon this family atmosphere and just the consistency among the coaches to, to be able to build on going into week one in New Orleans. You said you found the identity. What would you say the identity is? Uh, we're going to be tough. We're going to be a tough ass football team and we're going to play hard. You've been very vocal about not being the Panthers of the past. So what do you think the biggest key is, is uh, in f as far as like taking the next step and really turning the page and, and being successful? I think it's just consistency. Um, you know, we had times throughout the year last year where we did really good things, and then we had times where we did really bad things. So, I mean, just finding – I mean, you're not going to come out every single week and, you know, have a stellar game, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it's one of those things where you got to find a happy medium. You can't be bad every week, you can't be good every week. Then you need to find a, a, a medium. Yeah, perfect. Derek, appreciate your time. Thank you.